Prince Philip, of course, terribly sad it, though it is, was 99, you know, a yeah. fantastic life. Yeah. But someone else who we lost far too early this oh. week was Helen McCrory. Yeah. It was such a shock, oh, wasn't it? Yeah. Because nobody oh. knew she... I mean, it's... it's she had people sworn people so to much secrecy, now, hadn't she? It was mm. so weird to suddenly have that mm. news out of the blue. Mm. Such an amazing talent. I, I sadly had never met Helen McCrory, but I know several people who had, and said she was just a powerhouse. She was mm. somebody that you would have absolutely loved to have had a night out with. Yeah. And they clearly had a really fantastic marriage, and, in fact... Um, Damien Lewis has made so many beautiful tributes to his exactly. wife over the over the weekend. God, she was loved, wasn't but she? But this one <laughs> is tainted with the, it, it's kind of dark humour, but it is the humour that they had because she wanted him to be able to move on. And he said that only a couple of weeks ago, she said to us from her bed to the kids, "I want Daddy to have girlfriends, lots of them." <laughs> you must all love again. Love isn't possessive. But you know, Damien, try at least to get through the funeral without snogging somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. And I love that giving of permission. And, and we have had this conversation many times in our ho household. And have you? The girl, yeah. And the girls always say, oh, Dad will need somebody very, very soon after you die, Mum. And, and, and Mum will be all right. Mark gets really, gets really annoyed with that. And I say, absolutely. And I want you... I want you to have somebody... And what about really the other said, way around? What does he say if he was to go first? I don't think he'd say the same. Actually, it's really? interesting we haven't spoken yeah. about that. Isn't that weird? Do you think the girls would be OK if Dad got a girlfriend straight after? But if, yes. you went, but if he went first, would they yes. be as happy if you got somebody? Oh, I don't think so, but they are very, very particular about he's going he's go, you know, to have to have to have somebody. I think it's because of the cooking, probably. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> But I, but I, but I, I love. I think that's an act of love. What she said, yeah. and I think to give that permission and to give it really with your heart felt is yeah. is, is, is is a lovely thing to do. What about your your mum, Charlene? Well, do you know what? Actually, I was thinking about it when you were just talking now, Nadia. Is it is a conversation that my mum did have with mm. me just before she passed away? And I remember sitting in her bedroom beside her because she came home to die. And I remember sitting beside her at the bed. And, and she how just old were you, Charlene? And I was 21 at the time. Uh -huh. So I was the eldest, yeah. still am, obviously. Um, and she just sort of said, you know, if your dad finds love again, you know, support him. I want him to find somebody. Wow. Um, and it's a really uncomfortable conversation. Now that I'm mum, I realise it was a really uncomfortable conversation for her to have, but yeah. now a mum, I get it. Yeah. Because, you know, you want the children to be all right with it, and you, and I guess it's giving permission, I yeah. suppose. What about yeah. Gary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary would have to leave the house. Yeah, Gary would have to leave the house. So unless the new person ran out of petrol on the doorstep or was selling something... <laughs> or they bring them round to lasagna. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably we've sort of had that conversation, but he just always sort of says, oh, no, I don't think I'd, I'm too old for all that or whatever. I think he'd probably just stay on his own. Yeah. And, and I think I probably would as well, actually, because I, I think they're... If I was younger, then maybe. But I think now I would. I've got so many great friends that I'd probably just fill any void with with friendships. Well, Lincoln's fifteen years younger than me, so I suppose if he dies, plenty, he dies. If he dies, he <laughs> dies. And there's plenty of time. But I'm just too much of a hard act to follow. So crack on, mate. <laughs>